Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Minecraft Let's Play episode. I am Tyken, and today I want to show off a few things before we get started on the cool things. Um, I decided that I was running low on really cool picks, so I decided to grind a few levels and see what I could get. As you can see, I got a lot of good stuff. That's uh, Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3. One of the best picks you can get. Uh, let's see, then I have Efficiency 4 with Fortune 3. Then I have Efficiency 4 with Silk Touch 1. And then it's just, you know, normal stuff. Silk Touch 1, another Efficiency 4. I got a lot of good picks. Um, this is one of the uh, swords I had from before. Some of these I already had, and I was just taking them with me. But I got a lot of Fortune ones. Uh, I, I normally don't bring them with me, but I was like, well, I got so many now, so I'll just use them for whatever. Uh, wait. Also, I also got a full set of diamond armor, full protection uh, 4, I think that is. Yeah, IV. Uh, but yeah, that blaze farm does really well. I'll, uh, I'll have to show you guys it more later. Uh, but anyway, the part you actually want to see, this, the part I've been digging out. Amazing, no? Surprising that I've done this completely by hand. Oh god, it took so long. I broke the pick that I had. It is just so, so much digging. Of course, I had to replace some spots with uh, smooth stone. And I may actually eventually replace all the smooth stone with obsidian just because it would look so much more awesome, I suppose. Um, but yeah, this is my big empty room so far. This is going to be the center of my... Uh, secret lab simply because I I wanted something like you're gonna be underground all day working in your lab so I wanted to have a bit of nature underground plus when you're walking through a park you'd be like yeah la 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 gotta gotta go do some evil and diabolical experiments but uh, this I want to show off too this is the oops northward approach and crap there we go um, I found this and it is just amazing this this huge ravine I, I mean there's a little bit of a ravine over there but I didn't expect it to open up and be this huge um, I planned on building something down here but I'm not sure what I may have like this wing may just be the adventure base which is like this big catacomb thingy I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this but this is so epic to find this stumble upon this oh and uh, that's one of the new textures I'm trying out um, and that's one of the other ones you can't see it that well but uh, I designed two new gold vein textures and I replaced the iron with one and the gold with the other uh, but yeah that's that's what I have so far I, I can show them off but uh, you guys want to see me build well let me go ahead and show them off just real quick uh, one of the new designs I've been working on is wool. Uh, I completely redesigned it because I didn't like how stupid it looked. Actually, let me go ahead and grab a few. You can see it has a much better texture now. I think it looks good anyway. It looks better in actual you know, practice. Let's just go ahead and get rid of these. Uh, there we go. Uh, been working on a few other designs, but eh, you know, trying to make the texture pack look better. But for now, let's see we got to make this place look epic. So we're going to need a few materials. I'm going to need lots of wood. I'm going to need a few glowstone, some leaves. Uh, let's see what else. I got the glowstone, the leaves. I need, I'm going to need brick. No, no, no. How do you get in there, Lapis? Lapisor. Uh, I didn't bring any brick? Crap, I need to go up. Well, I should say, wee, I gotta go up, because this is always a really fun elevator to use. Also, I'm not sure if you saw my last video, because it's going to probably be uploaded before this one. Um, I showed off an epic new redstone elevator, that's so, or piston elevator, that's so much faster, so much better, and less confusing. Uh, I also have a new lava texture, and I may not keep it. Eh, depending. I can always put in alternates. Oh! Here's the wool you can see right here. It gives more of a texture and a lush feel to it. Makes it look more alive. Kind of makes everything else look crappy in comparison. Uh, okay. Uh, I could have sworn I brought brick with me, but apparently not. Uh, where's my brick? Where's my brick? Oh, there's some of it. I bet I did bring some of it, but I can't find it for some reason. Let me check. Oh, 
gonna need fence posts. I almost forgot about that. Might as well grab them now. Uh, huh. Apparently had more glowstone there. Uh, I think that should be good. I'll just bring an extra stack of this with me. Yeah, should be good. Good enough, anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and go through here, bypassing the decontamination, because that gets annoying. Well, I mean, it's cool, but it gets annoying to have to go through when you're passing through a lot. And, yeah, I'm completely missing my brick. Oh, well. Uh, first of all, we're going to be building a fountain in the middle of this thing. I know I built one in the park area of my, the outside of my base, but originally I had, like, a big waterfall coming from the, the middle of this when I designed this, but it didn't look quite right. So I was going to have like a little, you know, I wanted to put something in the middle and I couldn't make a fountain small enough look good. So we're going to do this instead. And I don't feel like going all the way back for that workbench, so we're just going to throw one down in here. Okay, let's see. We're going to have to make a couple of stairs. Four, we're going to need eight. Bam. This one we're going to have facing all directions. I'm not sure if we did that with the last one. I may do something with this uh, fountain, because everyone was like, you should you should definitely hide something in that other fountain. And I was like, no, no, not right now. Maybe later. We can, we can change that later. But let's see. Okay, we've got this. Let's go ahead and build the top part. I think I, think I used a, different, a slightly different design on my other one. Let's see what we can come up with this one. Let's see, I'm gonna need just a crap ton of wood, so we'll go ahead and do that. A few of these. Well, actually, we're gonna need a, more than a few of those, so I'll just go ahead and make a bunch now. Um, going to need a few stairs. Should be good. What is a single torch doing there? Go away, torch. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. And we're going to probably need something to jump on top of, so we'll just use this brick. There we go. Um, put half slabs in the corner. Put... Oh, no. God damn you. Go away. Damn you to the fiery pits of hell. Where you belong, you stray block. Okay. Here. Here. No. What? No. Don't get stuck on that. You know what? Jump on this one. There we go. There we go. Freaking stair blocks. Why aren't you... <sighs> yeah, I, I should have expected that. Uh... Okay, I hate you right now. So bad. Let me try jumping on top of this one and repositioning. Yeah, okay, that worked. I don't know why it, it likes to be difficult. But it does. And it agitates me greatly. And there we go. Okay. Next, we're going to put a thin layer of half slabs across the top. And get rid of this. Okay, let's collect anything we might have dropped along the way. Okay. Maybe not as elegant as the other design that I had, but it, it's more of a, a rounded structure. Okay, now we're going to need some light in the center, so we're going to use these. I can't really use torches there because it's all stairs and half blocks and nothing can be attached to them. Plus it kind of makes it feel more uh, high-techy with lamps everywhere. Oh, by the way, I gathered all this lightstone completely legit as well. I went to the nether and, you know, used silk touch because getting all that dust is annoying. Um, by the way, someone suggested that I do a secondary series where I show off all the stuff that I normally do off camera, like gathering materials, which is, actually becomes quite interesting sometimes because I find like giant ravines like that and I get attacked and get scared and then I have, I have a lot of interesting things that actually happens off camera. Of course, most of it's just digging. I could probably leave that off or just speed it up. But if you guys are interested in having that as a separate series, not com not connected to the, the Let's Play, like it, it wouldn't interrupt the Let's Play episodes. It would just be in addition to. Uh, so yeah, that would be that. You know, more episodes of Tyken. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think, and we'll probably get to that. But for now, let's see, we're going to need to spruce this place up a bit. Er, 
there might have been a pun if I was actually talking about trees. But this definitely needs more light in this area. And I hate all these torches simply because, you know, it, it, I just don't like torches. It feels low tech, especially in a laboratory, you know? So we'll be using plenty of this. Oh, by the way, definitely drop down there. Don't want to go down there. Oh, if you're wondering how I got grass all the way down here, silk touch. Well, I mostly use dirt, and then I put like a single grass block and let it spread while I dug everything else out. Really nice, really nice. You know, this is taking too long. Um, I think I'm going to... No, I don't need one in the corners, just by the doorways. And then one right here. Should be enough, and we can pop off all these torches. Well, we'll leave these torches in the corners for now just because we don't want dark over there. We'll probably add something to keep that light over there, too. Okay, we've got this. Now, of course, it, it's still a bit empty, so let's add some depth by adding some leaves. Just some happy, gentle leaves along the corner, like so. Or along the wall. Kind of, uh, you know, uh, spruces it up a bit. There, I made a somewhat of a re uh, relevant tree pun. Okay, let's come across here. And just one more side, and we should be done. Can't remember if I connected those or not, but I think that's that's enough. Oh, and by the way, don't worry, I'm going to be doing something about these corners, because definitely it, it leaves something to the imagination, I, I, I believe. What I, what I planned on doing is kind of like hollowing this out around the uh, backside of it, Oh, look, there's some iron, although it looks... or is it gold? I can't remember which texture I replaced with what. Oh, yeah, that's iron. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to be changing it back before I release the pack. But yeah, I've, I've been doing a lot of edits and stuff. But I was going to make like a hallway that goes around the center, you know, because some people don't like to go through happy parks. They like to go around. Plus, it would add a little bit more depth to the room because I was going to replace the uh, edges right here with glass so you could see through and it would open it up a lot more. But I'll show you guys when I'm done. Let's see, going to add some benches so people can, you know, sit and enjoy a nice cup of tea and whatever people do in secret labs when they take breaks. I wouldn't really know. I really wish I could see, like, a, a good example of a secret lab besides, you know, like Dexter's Lab and stuff like that. I love Dexter's Lab, but I can't really replicate all the machinery and stuff. I was hoping for more, like, Resident Evil kind of uh, thing, I suppose go and more benches more benches yeah bench flipping skills uh that should be enough at least i think so then let's see i need a central point right here perhaps that seems good kind of in the middle of everything let me grab i got rid of all my freaking logs didn't i i'm gonna need four one, two, three, four. I'm actually using birch for once. Huh. I like never use birch for decorating. Although, it's not the side textures that I want. It's just the top texture. Since it looks the same as regular wood. But it's essentially junk wood. No real use for it. Unfortunately. Yeah, I think right there... Right there will be just close enough to give light to everything. So... Oh, look. Torch marks the spot. Thank you, Torch. Uh, we're going to need... Ah. Well, we're going to need glowstone and some of these. Put little lamp posts. Click. Yes. Got it. it looks kind of fancy, I might add. I can get rid of these in the corner. It may still be a little dark, and I'm not sure if stuff can still spawn in here once I'm done, but we can always fix it if it becomes a problem. Then one on the top. There we go. I really hate misplacing glowstone because then you get dust back and it's like, oh, it's never enough. You always get like three or two. Rarely you get four. Unless you have silk touch. But I generally don't carry silk touch with me. Hmm. I feel a bit bland. I might put trapdoors around them for decorations. I'll let you guys decide when I'm done. Let's see what you think. Okay, now I'm going to need a crap ton of signs. I'm going to need four signs for every one of these. So let's just mark me down for a crap ton. 
Let's go ahead and deposit all this extra stuff that I don't need. I'm not going to leave the, need the leaves anymore, and I actually used a lot. Uh, cobblestone, regular stone, just get rid of as much as I can. Well, I'll take the wood. I might need that later. Well, you know what? I'll just throw all this in here. I don't think I'll need torches. I don't think I'll need my sword, and I don't think I'll need an extra stack of melons. Let's go ahead and take my wood back, because I forgot we're going to need that for a lot of signs. Okay. Now, now we're just going to make an ungodly amount of signs. Let's see if we can do this without invoking some kind of wrath upon some holy being. Oh, that is a lot of signs. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I don't think we'll be putting any patterns on these just because you don't need anything fancy. I always like these park bench designs. They always feel comforting. I like the designs where I put the paintings on the back to give it a little bit of a higher back, but uh, I, I just don't really feel like the hassle of doing all those paintings, because then you have to hope for the right one and then keep popping it off. Signs are just easier. I mean, signs are by far not an easy solution, but easier compared to paintings, I suppose. Mm, and then I also, you know, just love being able to click Shift click all of them down into my inventory bar. I don't remember if that's a new feature since I started playing. Like, I remember I started playing shortly before the Nether was introduced. I remember I was really disappointed when the Nether was was introduced, unfortunately. Because it was like, nothing was there. Like, nothing really worth dying for. I mean, Glowstone was amazing, but it's like, it was really hard to get, and you only, you only got like a few dust, and you needed like an entire nine to make a single block of Glowstone, so it, it was really ridiculous. But we're almost done, and we should have enough signs, I hope. Yes, we have exactly enough signs. Holy crap. I couldn't have planned that better if I tried. Believe me, I didn't plan this at all. Whew. Hardly any planning goes into some of my random endeavors. Okay, this is starting to look much, much better. Uh, let's see, what can we do to make it look even better? Well, we can eat a piece of watermelon. Mm. Nice piece of watermelon in the park. Let's pop off some of these extra torches so it looks a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little dark. A little, perhaps. I'm not sure if anything can spawn in here, but it, it seems to be just bright enough. You know? It doesn't feel too dim. I don't think there's anything I can do besides putting torches around everywhere that would make it look better, and that would just make it look worse. Okay. Um, let me go ahead, I think... Got a bucket of water, but I'm going to need another one to make a spring. So let me go to the top real quick and get one. Uh, oh, I put torches in here, because a lot of monsters were spawning in here, and I have no idea why. I mean, I think it was bright enough, but I, I had no idea. Okay, let's see. Where's my other bucket? There's my buckets. And the cool thing is, uh, I'll have a spring in the middle now, so if I ever need water, I don't have to go all the way to the top. I'm becoming more and more of a mole man every day going deeper underground, less to the surface world every day. In fact, I haven't really left my house, except unless you count the nether, I suppose. Okay. Um, okay, we've we've put the nice little spring here. I'll probably put uh, cobblestone on the bottom of that, because you don't want grass there. What else do we want? We need to add more life. More life, yes. Life indeed. Let's, see, let's go ahead, throw this crap in there this. And I can fill the buckets up later. Uh, I'm going to need... There we go. Bone meal. Well, I'll take the bigger stack. I'm going to need... Let's go ahead and take... Wait, did I use all my wood? Holy crap, I used all my wood. Ugh. Don't like that. Okay. Damn, already. Uh, let's see. I think first what we're going to do is we're going to add some wild grass. Unfortunately, wild grass can't grow where the signs are just because it, it's considered a block, but we still have, you know, all this other location around it to add more depth. All these flowers are way too clustered right here. So just leave those two. Let's see. 
this corner doesn't have one. There we go. Have to make sure all of this is fully grown. Okay, too much flower there. And oh, uh, this time we'll get rid of this one. And this one. I like the red. Gives it more. Uh, what's the word? Oh, don't like that there. There's already another one there. And I'll get rid of. No, no, keep those. Okay. Then let's see. We're gonna add some around here. Of course, don't want it to be left out. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Now this side, let's see what we can do over here. Too much foliage. Get rid of you. Two flowers can be close together, as long as they're not, you know, same type, I suppose. Uh, hmm. So there, not there. Put some over here, 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 here. I think that's all that's over here. Did I miss any spots? No. No, I didn't. Okay. Now I just have this side, and I'm pretty much done. At least with this portion. Mm, ooh, too much. Too, too much. I'll just get rid of those. Leave some here. And some there. Okay. Well, this is transformed into a admittedly awesome, but barren room, to a little more lively now, although I think it would look much better with obsidian. I remember one of my friends suggested that a while ago, uh, when I originally designed this, but I was like, there's no way I can get that much obsidian, and then I realized how awesome uh, efficiency picks are, and I was like, okay, that might be possible now. But, let's see, what do we have left? Still need to do something. Let's see what we can do. I think I forgot to get glass, so we can't put that in just yet. I don't feel like going back to the surface. Let's see what we can do. We can... Well, let's go ahead and make some trap doors. Uh, this is how you make them, right? No. Like that? No. Ah, I remember now. I'm kind of an idiot, but whatever. Oh, crap. I made a full stack. Crap. I'm not going to need that many trap doors, I don't think, ever. Well, I may. Each one's going to need four. But I don't think that equates to 32. 42 is the answer to everything, though. Hmm. I don't know. It looks decent, and it doesn't look as barren, but at the same time, it makes it look kind of oddly shaped. Let me go ahead and finish decorating this, and then we'll look at it one more time. I'll let my fans decide, see what you guys think, and we can... Uh, definitely do some awesome stuff with this. Put some here, 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 and here. Yeah, it adds more color and makes them feel less barren, but it makes them feel too big. I could probably try other things, like maybe putting signs around them to give them a little bit of a, a border, but that might look weird. I don't know. I could always put a top on them, like a half slab, but again, it might make them just look too thick. I don't know. We'll, tr we'll try something later. Anyway, I think I'm going to pause here for now, because we've already got this big room done, and I still have a lot of digging to do. I believe I'm going to start digging out this way next. Um, and basically, what this is going to be is it's going to be my uh, plant farm wing. and I'm, I'm not sure what to call it. I want to say biology lab, I suppose, because it's going to have everything to do with plants and all kinds of farms. It's going to have all my farm designs, because I'm definitely going to need more wood and pretty much every other kind of material. Uh, I think this wing is going to be my manufacturing wing. Maybe my animal wing, because I planned on having, like, multiple different wings. I, I could, you know... I don't know. I was going to have this wing, you know, different wing for each one, like this one manufacturing, but just so much openness that I don't think I can make this into a useful wing unless... I build it into the wall right here or something, which would actually look pretty cool. I think I might do something like that. Kind of multi-purposed wing, like have this kind of like the adventure area and then just have everything built into the side right here. That would look really sweet. But uh, plants and then probably animals because I'm going to have such a big animal farm that it will probably take up an entire wing. But uh, yeah, I still have to dig out everything, so it's, it's going to sadly take a while. But I hope you all enjoyed this, and you like the way, you know, I decorated everything. I think it looks good. I might be able to add something up there in the future. 
maybe moss, but it hangs down too low. Uh, I don't know. Uh, always open to suggestions, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.